the tide pools and the boy. The morning grows too far delivered to the day as the pools of rock and wood run dry. First, the tide surprises as it slowly rises, then the waters of a boy's fears disappear. What is left seems pearled and lit, the gleaming stones and the boy alone, sea urchins and sea ferns and the boy alone, the boy I was, hermit crabs alive in the water grass, the water worms and the boy alone, the boy I was. My favorite place, a beach named Moonstone, for the milky moons awash in the tides, below the rising dunes, like the moon's spies, like the fallen eyes of the moon. And even in my pockets, walking slowly home, I knew they could see a future only seen for me, seen only for me. One Shore Tonight, the sands melt with oily coils of kelp tossed across the sands, and the dreams of dunes a young man walks the crescent of the bay by boats aligned like sentinels. Here, by the blue depot of the bay, walking the shore, you can see the way the shore approximates the dream, how distances repeat their songs above these tables and panes of water. As climbing the hills above the bay, up to the lupin drifting among the lichen-masked pines, you can see the way the night is pocked by lamps lit on every boat offshore. Those galleries of floating stars. And in that dream we share, there is one shore where we look out upon nothing and the sea our whole lives, until turning from those waves, we find one shore, one shore, where we look out upon nothing and the earth our whole lives, where what is left between shore and sky is traced in the vague wake of the stars, the sandpipers whistling what we forgive. If you wake soon, wake me. The Black Gondola As a young man, I wandered Italy, looking to be free, looking to see who I might be. Then one night in Venice, 
almost as penance for the pleasures and the lovers and the wine. I had a dream of a future I knew was my own. A broken moon above the Venetian lagoon, and the night could not hide what I saw slowly glide across the sky into a mandala of moonlight, the black gondola, my own black gondola, the ghost of my own breath, a ship of death. The black ghost of my own breath, my gondola and my death. In the dream, I walked alone along the fundamenta, the taste and weight of stone, the soul's dementia. And the clock tower struck the bells of hell. And I stepped into the silence of the black gondola, its violet opulence black as the silence of the dream that carried me away into my future, so far from home, where a man who fears death wishes never to roam where no alibis survive and no love can last, where even the sea sings one octave in the past. Redemption, until the sea is dead. What the night prepares, day gives. This cool green weave to the light, shading the darker emeralds of the limbs as they descend the narrow trunks of pine. Here, the shore cuts like a thin sickle at the fields of black waves. On a rise above these dunes, I watch the wild oats leaning with the wind as I try to imagine what I might sing to you. Now the dunes grow dark in this harsh a light. The sand burns with the same erratic white within a negative held up against the sun. If you had walked here with me or come after to see what kept me standing in the night, you'd see only what dissolves, dark to dawn, shore to wave, Wings to fog, a branch to light. The vague design that doesn't come from me, yet holds me to it, just as you might another time. Now I'll say for all of us the small prayer the song of time, the sea's melody of loves sworn to live beyond the night until the stars run to milk, until the earth divides, until these waves no longer rake the headland sands, until the sea is dead. Here is the place I'll stand with the moon 
and the waves in each open hand with the moon and the waves in my hands. <laughs>